We got Michael here. So my wife took off to South Carolina. I'm stationed in California. Now she is using that against me in custody and mediation. So I'm ba based on the station portion of it. I am guessing you are um, in. Um, you are in the military. So thank you for your service. Uh, this is unfortunately this is something that we have a couple military bases out here that we deal with pretty regularly. So um, the, the, the first piece I would say is there are special laws and there are special protections for our military members. So that's something that those are, those are uh, federal laws that protect our military members while you're active duty. So um, the first thing I would do is if there's any questions and looks like I got uh, a comment here, uh, I'm, I'm getting transferred out there, which is, I mean, that's, that's really um, showing your desire there to be a father. I'm assuming your case is based in South Carolina um, at this, with, with the comment there. But I would say that uh, you, you need to talk to an attorney who understands military law, how it combines with family law, uh, because there's probably going to be jurisdictional questions where the case should be based out of, because uh, they may not consider where you're stationed, your home state. Um, we had a situation where the two were stationed in, New in Louisiana and they were moving uh, and they were moving to different states. So, but Louisiana wasn't considered the home state and a fourth state was actually technically their state of residence, but neither of them was going to live there. So there's some complex issues with the military piece. It sounds like you, you, you got into a pretty good situation being able to be transferred out there. Um, but it's, it's, it's hard. It, it is hard. And, and I will say that I, I've seen a tendency as long as you get, as long as you show the effort that judges are going to make some, uh, are, are going to be fit, look favorably towards our military members and not punish you for your service. Um, Antonio here, can JAG provide you with assistance or direction? Yes. So if you go to uh, your, your legal assistance, they can point you in the right direction. They, I, my understanding is they can't give you specific legal advice, but they can point you in the right direction of what you need. And they're going to understand basics of what mil how military law and how the rules of the military play with the UCCJEA, the Uniform Child Custody and Jurisdiction Enforcement Act, and also just general custody principles. So a lot of military members, I think the first thing you should do, you absolutely need, need, need to visit your um, JAG officer and, and have, have a conversation with them so they can point you in the right direction. Because un unfortunately, um, divorce and separation is very, very common in the military. So it's at minimum, they're going to point you in the right direction of what you need and the help you need to get.